Hello, and welcome to the top 5 most annoying weapons in Chivalry 2. I'm going to show you how to master the strengths of these weapons so that you can cheese your way to victory. At number 5 we have the Rapier, Chivalry 2's premier dueling sword. In a skilled player's hands, this can be the best dueling weapon in the game. With this fast and skinny blade, any opponent will be looking at this thing with squinted eyes. Use feints and attack cancels to keep them guessing. Your weapon is so fast that if you cancel an attack and bait them into swinging, you can excel into a slash or overhead and take a free hit. Unlike the normal sword, the rapier has faster and weaker slashes that stop on hit, much like a blunt weapon. And although these slashes don't do a lot of damage, the hit stop increases combo times and can help you keep initiative with well-timed gambles. Your attacks do very little stamina damage, so don't bother trying to win the stamina game. Instead, use your fast slashes and overheads for gambles and use your faster, stronger stabs to land killing blows. You should also try baiting them into an attack. If they try to push you aggressively, you can use your special attack to teach them a lesson. At number 4, we got the Morning Star, also known as the Gamble Stick. Unlike the Rapier, this weapon has very powerful overheads and slashes that also get the benefit of having faster combos due to hit stop. If you've seen Soder Dave's videos featuring this weapon, you already know what type of playstyle this weapon does best with. Because your weapon is just faster than the opponent's, you have the power to dictate the speed of the fight. So you should not get into a counter battle with this weapon. Patience and good reaction time is going to be your best friend. You can simply wait for them to attack and hit them with the good old look down crouch and overhead to instantly hit them faster. Just the fact that you're standing there, not doing anything, staring into their soul will be incredibly frustrating when you still manage to hit them first. And if they like to faint or drag a lot, you can easily punish them with gambles that will make them think twice. You should also mix in jabs for free chip damage if the overhead isn't fast enough, or kicks if you catch them holding block. You also have a special attack that looks very similar to an overhead and does massive stamina damage, and has deceptively long range. Be sure to use the special attack often. At number 3 we have the Dane Axe. The Dane Axe is every noob's favorite weapon and for good reason. The fastest two-handed axe in the game, you can easily gamble against most weapons with excels on overheads and slashes. The damage is nothing to scoff at either. Dealing basically the same damage as the Battle Axe, you can kill anybody very quickly. With this being on the Raider class, you also have the ability to bring two Dane Axes along for the ride. And why would you do that? Well, because the Danax just happens to be the best throwable weapon in the game, dealing more damage and throwing even more accurately than a javelin. Look out for bloody enemies and get those easy throw kills, but you'll also have to go and pick your axe up if you want to keep the rampage going, and try your best not to accidentally throw both of them, or you're going to end up looking really dumb. With this being on the Vanguard, you have faster movement speed and more stamina. So if you get stuck in a 1vx fight, do your best to dodge to a safe distance, or if the enemy is distracted, you can use your fast movement speed to get behind them and take them out quickly. At number two, we have the War Club, or as I like to call it, the Bitch Stick. Basically, a longer and faster version of the Heavy Mace, but with less damage. This thing is very annoying to fight against, since this weapon has longer range than the majority of weapons, and is incredibly fast. The way to use this is, when you hit somebody's riposte or you hit them directly, you should instantly dash to the side or backwards away from them. This is going to cancel some of your recovery time and allow you to swing again, faster and at an increased range. This is called dash cancelling and it works extremely well with this weapon because even if they try to attack you during the dash cancel, there's a very good chance they're out of range, giving you an easy hit. This strategy is the reason why this weapon is called Bitch Stick, 
because the users are usually attacking from a safe distance and no matter what you do, there is no way to get closer. Another nice strategy you can use with this weapon and other fast weapons is the triple feint. You do this by canceling your first attack and then doing a normal feint, giving the illusion that you're fainting three times. You'll see me use the triple feint many times when using fast weapons in order to bait out an attack so that I can excel and hit them first. And uh, as you guys can probably tell, I hate this weapon because in the right hands, this thing is a menace even in competitive matches. And at the top of our list, we have the spear. And also guys, this video took a very long time to make. So if this video did help you, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And now to continue on. If the war club is the bitch stick, this is the bitchier stick. And honestly, the spear is more or less an archer in my book. The spear turns this game into a point and click game where you can just hit enemies without any real risk of taking damage if you're skilled in positioning. But the spear is not without its learning curve. If you do get stuck in 1v2 fights, you're at a major disadvantage and you really need to work on only being in fights where you have the 2v1 in your favor. Do that correctly and you may be going deathless more easily than you thought was possible. And once you learn the ins and outs of this weapon, it really is pretty brain dead and that's why I don't use it very often. I just get bored with it. But anyways, we are coming up at the end here guys and I'm almost at that 1000 subscriber mark and I'm planning an amazing stream once I get there. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Now get out there and piss some people off.